What's up guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. Uh, today we're going to be doing the T44-100, the premium tier 8 medium that we got from the loot boxes. As you can see, uh, I've got uh, a f one skill crew, so they're all skilled up one level, they're working on their second qualification. And it looks like, actually it doesn't look like, I can mathematically complete this third chapter. I can do it. It's possible. The only reason why it's possible is because they had this thing in the store. Uh, let's see if it's still there. Uh, it was under best. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was this, I believe. Yeah. It, it was, no. This isn't it. Um, it was under this, though. But I think it was a one-time deal. So once you bought it, it just disappears. But what it was is... Uh, it gave you like five different missions to complete and if you completed all those missions you get a total of 1000 battle pass points all right do the math guys that's almost half of a total chapter so I did that I completed it let's see I was on 32 or something like that had to have been 33. No, it was 32. It's 31 or 32 when I completed it. So I got jump started basically four levels in the chapter. Uh, so since I was able to do that, it left me with only needing 647 uh, battle pass points to complete it. And we've got more than 647 available. So, I can mathematically complete the chapter. However, <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to do it. Um, on the weekdays, I've been averaging around three to four chapters a day. Uh, so really, that gives me today which is Monday the 22nd Tuesday Thursday or Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday up through the 25th to really hammer out all of these chapters or all these levels so uh, I'm not going to be sleeping much I am going to be working really hard I, I'm going to be playing this game non-stop to get it done but one of the cool things about completing the special mission thing to where you get a bonus um, for the thousand levels or the thousand points was you get a female commander which I put in the prototype I've got second lieutenant Giselle Ardan she's a French girl <laughs> um, I put a French I put a French girl in a uh, British tank <laughs> And the only reason why I did it was because I've already got Rebecca in the American tank. Um, this tank I hate playing, so I'm just using them to get skills for crews. Um, I, I might play this more often. Well, I will play it more often come next season. And then I considered about putting her in this tank, but I'm having a lot of fun with this tank. So I have good games, I have bad games. Uh, this tank is an all-arounder for me. Uh, I have good games, bad games, and everything in between. I've had games where I was a useless Muppet and didn't accomplish anything, and I've had games where I've done great things and they were just great games. Uh, we can even take a look at this one, uh, where we're at. What is this, the T44-100? You can take a look at the stats there. 31 battles, 54% victories. I've survived 25% of my battles. Um, I hit 76% of the time. 
Uh, doing really, really good. My average experience is 676. Um, I'm averaging 700, almost 800 damage a game. Um, I'm assisting an average of 360. I'm not doing bad with this tank. There's a look at uh, the awards that I've gotten in those 31 battles. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been doing a bit. I've been doing a bit. Got a lot of these sharpshooters, which is to be expected. I even got a spotter. Um, that was weird. Uh, only 21%, um, but I've only got 31 games in it, so it's to be expected. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into a battle. And uh, hopefully I can show off the capabilities of this tank. Like I said, um, the battles vary from horrible to great, so we'll see. Okay, we're on Lakeville. I know I'm not going to go towards the mountains. I'm not going to take the path, so that leaves the city. Okay. And we're top tier, so it's tier 8s and 7s. And this thing can do some damage, guys. Like, the DPM's not great on it, but when the shots hit, you're doing 200, or 200, yeah, 200? I think it's like 260, or is it 300 something? I forget. I think it's like 260 damage a shot when it penetrates. So, not a bad tank. Um, it's low profile, so you can hide behind a lot of stuff. Um, if I increase the camo rating on it, I'd be able to hide behind tiny little bushes like this. But right now the camo rating is garbage. I would like to increase the view range some more on it, but, uh, you know not sure that's really logical I'm liking where I'm at right now with this tank and once I get some more skills under my belt it's gonna be great why isn't there anybody popping up over here yet there we go we got a medium I'm waiting for the heavy to show his face 282. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, there's a heavy. Yeah, I can't pen that guy. And chances are he's going to come straight for me. Yeah. That's kind of what I figured. Um, hmm. These guys are blocking avenues of approach, which I don't appreciate. Oh my god! Really, dude? That was the way I was going to go. Okay. These guys are killing me here. Spotted? Spotted by what? <laughs> that long distance shot got him. Oh, I need that to hit. Come on. No, I don't know where he's at. Um, we lost the city. I 
I'm about to get my ass handed to me. Oh well, all I can do is try to do some damage. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you can do quite a bit. Um, so we got three shots off, two on the Super Hellcat, um, one on the CS-53. So we got three shots off total. We're getting some spotting damage, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this tank can do things, but uh, these tanks, those heavies, back in here, there was not a lot I can do about that. Um, I would have to have them turn their sides to me, and the chances of them doing that are slim to none. I got three battle pass points. I'll take that. And that's like 10th or 11th in experience. And in damage, I'm what, 6th? So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. So I actually did over a thousand damage. Interesting. I guess the crits counted. They had to have, right? 282, 499, and 226. Huh, okay. 1,000 damage, I'll take it. Uh, made 26,000 credits. Got some stuff put into our little vault, which is great. 389 experience. Where are we on the vault? We just got, the vault just opened today. So we're already at 55 gold and 88,000 credit reserve. So not too bad in our reserves. But uh, there you go, guys. Uh, that's our first look at the T-44. Uh, we could talk about it a little bit. Uh, so the, the turret is where you're going to block all your damage. Everything else about this, the body of it is like a wet paper bag. Anybody can penetrate that. The turret is where it's all at. Uh, so you can look right here. The turret armor, 190 in the front, 130 on the sides, 100 in the rear. And the body armor, only 90 in the front, 75 on the sides, and 45 in the rear. So yeah. Uh, but I do like that it's low profile. It's kind of a small tank. Um, it's fast. You saw how fast it was. So you can zip uh, from one side of the map to the other as needed. Um, the firepower behind it is not bad. Uh, with the equipment, the reload time is decent. Um, definitely manageable. Um, I do recommend carrying at least a small repair kit. The other two slots use at your own discretion, but I would highly recommend at least one small repair kit <laughs> um, going into every battle with this thing. Um, outside of that, guys, it's an all-arounder. It's a very good tank to have. If you can get your hands on it, keep it. <laughs> like, no joke, keep it. Uh, it's just a good tank, especially for the casual players. Um, the Unicoms will probably wreck with this thing. But, uh, yeah, um, what else? Oh, also today, uh, you can do a trade-in, which you can watch Quickie Baby's uh, video on this. Um, he kind of, he goes into way more detail than what I think is needed, but uh, you can trade in some premium vehicles to get a discount on other premium vehicles, if that makes sense. So if they want me to turn in this tank, uh, which is the only one that qualifies to be turned in, that I have, it gives me a 5,600 gold discount on anything else. So if I want the Lowy, I can get that for 5,600 gold, 5,000 all the way down to, look at that. If I wanted the, if I wanted the Elec 11, 
the LC even rather. Um, I could pick that up right now for 200 gold. I get 96% off on that thing. Um, same thing with the Senlac. Same thing with the uh, T92. Not a bad light tank. Huh. Um, I can afford the T26 E4, which, eh. I, really, I can afford quite a bit of these. So basically, from this guy down is what I can afford to do right now. But I'm having too much fun with this tank. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this tank. So I'm going to try to max this guy out on points. Um, once I do that, then I'll be down to only needing like 200 points to get my battle pass, which would be fantastic. So uh, if you like the video, guys, hit that like button. If I've earned it, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section below about what you think about this tank. And as always, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.